today's lab, we're looking at synthesizing esters and also taking a look at their properties. And really the only property we're looking at today is the physical property of odor or smell. Just to kind of backtrack a little bit in terms of how to form an ester, there are several different ways that you will come across in your lecture material. This is probably the cheapest and easiest way to make an ester. However, the yields of, of producing an ester are not very great. Uh, and the reason for that is if you notice, you see this double arrow here, which means it's at equilibrium, which means you'll never get complete conversion of the reactants to the product. Well, what happens in an esterification reaction? If you take a carboxylic acid, which has this functional group, the carboxyl group, and you react it with an alcohol, which has the functional group, the OH, you're going to split out water between the two molecules. You'll always remove the OH group from the carboxyl group and the hydrogen from the alcohol to form the water. Now this is not a mechanism that I'm showing you. This is what I would call lasso chemistry. We're just splitting out the atoms so that we can form the product. Wherever you remove atoms or groups of atoms, that's where you have to bond whatever is remaining. So notice the carbonyl group will now bond to the oxygen of the uh, alcohol to form this ester. Esters is always recognized by the C double bond O, O, C linkage. These bonds here just represent bonds to carbon. They could be cyclic carbons, they could be aromatic carbons, any type of branch carbons, it's unlimited there. So what I've done here, instead of using generic, give you an example. So here we've got acetic acid, we've got ethanol. Now you have to have an acid catalyst where this reaction does not take place at all. And you only need a few drops. Typically the uh, acid that we use most often would be sulfuric acid. So notice I'm going to take the OH off the carboxyl group, the H off the alcohol. This is where we're forming our waters over here. And then wherever I remove the atoms or groups of atoms, this is where what I have left, I have to join together. So the carbonyl carbon has to bond to this oxygen to form this ester. This particular ester is called ethyl acetate, or some people call it ethyl ethanoate. This ethyl acetate is commonly found in fingernail polish. I think everyone has smelled that characteristic odor before. Um, so most of these esters will have kind of sweet, flower, flowery, uh, fruity smells, if you will, and a lot of these have been used in the perfume industry over the past uh, several years. And what we're going to do today, we're going to go through and make a series of different esters, and we will notice, observe the smell of each of these, and I'll tell you what that uh, odor is, and then uh, you can write that down in your data sheet lab notebook. Uh, today's lab, we are going to do um, synthesize esters and take a look at their properties, uh, mainly their smell. So uh, we're going to do this. This is going to be a test tube uh, experiment, if you will. So we've got, we're going to carry out five different experiments, uh, and we've labeled the test tubes one through five, and um, I'm going to tell you what the reagents are as we go along, but this will also be given to you in the, the recording. So uh, the second test tube, I just want to draw this to your attention. We use salicylic acid for this one, and I went ahead and weighed that out. It's 0 0.10, 0 0.1 of a um, solid, 0.1 grams of this solid. So I went ahead and put that in the test tube. So in the first test tube, we're going to put ethanol, and we're going to use 10 drops of the ethanol. And to that, we're going to add 10 drops of the acetic acid. In the second, we'll swirl that to mix. In the second test tube, we've got the salicylic acid. And to that, we're going to add 10 drops of the methanol. you can tell that solid has dissolved. In the third test tube, we're using 20 drops of isoamyl alcohol. Uh, 
And to that, we're going to add 10 drops of acetic acid. In the fourth test tube, we're going to use 20 drops of octal alcohol. And also eight drops of acetic acid. And in the last test tube, we're going to use uh, nine drops of benzyl alcohol. And to that, we're going to add uh, 10 drops of formic acid. Now, when you mix an uh, alcohol and a carboxylic together, uh, nothing's really going to happen until you add an acid catalyst. So our acid catalyst is sulfuric acid. So what I need to do is to add uh, five drops of sulfuric acid to each of these test tubes. Once that's done, we're going to place it in a hot water bath or warm water bath uh, where the temperature is around 60, 65. And then we will let them sit in there for about 10 minutes and then we'll take those out and see if we can notice a certain smell associated with those. This is concentrated sulfuric acid, so you always have to be careful. Make sure you wear gloves. If you think you get anything on you, uh, you should uh, change your gloves immediately. Now we certainly want to swirl that. And then we'll place these into the hot water bath. It's not uncommon for precipitation to occur when they're heated. That typically will go back into solution. So we'll keep a check on that. We'll heat this for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and uh, continue. It's been 10 minutes at around that 60, 65 degree range. So what we're going to do now is just take these test tubes out and let them sit just cool for a couple minutes. And then we'll go back and uh, we'll add some water to this. We should get two layers to form. And then what I'd like to do is to, um, we'll isolate the, um, the organic layer, which should be on the top for the esters. And then we will um, take a note of what the odor that we smell from coming from those esters are. These have cooled enough. So what I'm going to do is to add two mils of water to each test tube. So what I'm going to do is take some of the organic layer and put a drop on a watch plate, glass or watch glass. And then notice by wafting close to my face, I'm going to notice what the smell is. And for this particular one, it smells like fingernail polish for test tube one. For test tube two, it smells like winter green. For test tube three, it smells like banana. Test tube four smells like orange. And test tube five smells somewhere between, smells a little bit more of a pineapple smell, maybe a in between a peach and a pineapple. And one more that we want to take a look at is the unknown. So I'm going to take a drop of the unknown and then we'll take, I'll take a smell of it. And this particular one smells like uh, fingernail polish remover. Or excuse me, fingernail polish, not remover, but fingernail polish. and you will be given information about what assignments to complete at a later time.